Hello guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here with a very important lesson video on the first four chords you should learn as a beginner. Now these are simplified chords that I teach my students to help us getting playing music as fast as possible. And you're gonna find with just these four chords, you'll be able to play thousands of songs. Now this is an updated HD version of an older video of mine, but I'm gonna make this even simpler for you. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over four simple chords that I teach my students and their first or second lesson as guitar students. And we use these four chords to play lots of songs such as Heart of Gold, um, think of Zombie by The Cranberries, Perfect by Ed Sheeran. I mean, there's lots and lots of songs and you'll find a list of those on my website. I'll put a link below where you can go and find those songs. So the caveat to this is I'm gonna show you four chords. I'm actually gonna make one of them even easier than my last video. And if you stay tuned through the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a capo to actually access even more songs with just these four chords. So let's get into the actual chords. So the first chord we're gonna learn is probably one of the easiest. It's an E minor chord, and we're gonna build all of our chords off of this chord. So it's very important that we get familiar with this one and know it very well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna, we need two fingers, all right? Our first finger and our second finger. And our first finger is gonna to go to the top string of the guitar all right, on the second fret. So these blocks are called frets. So you're gonna count up one, two frets, put your first finger on the top string and then lower it to the fifth string. And then what we're gonna do with our second string is just put it right below that first finger. And if you strum all six strings, we call this an E minor chord. It's a sad chord, that's why it's minor, all right? So let's find that again. So we're gonna to go to the second fret, all right, get your first finger, move it down to the fifth string, second fret, and then we're gonna put our second finger right below it on the second fret. And that is E minor. All right, I'm gonna repeat that one more time. This is a beginner lesson video, so I'm gonna teach this as if you were a student in my classroom. So we're gonna repeat things a few times. So if you feel like you've gotten enough out of it, feel free to fast forward and go to the next section. But I'm gonna repeat it a few more times just so that you can find it. First finger, all right, fifth string, count up to the second fret and put your second finger right below on the fourth string second fret and we're gonna strum all the chords. This is your E minor chord and this is gonna be the foundation for all the other chords that we're gonna learn. So let's go learn our second chord. So the second chord I'm gonna show you is a simplified C chord. It's only two fingers. The normal C chord is usually three fingers, but the reason I teach this way is because for a lot of students, especially absolute beginners or older students, moving three fingers is very difficult. So we take this approach and most of my students find it much easier. So we're gonna find that E minor chord again. So just one more time, first finger on the fifth fret, Oh, sorry, fifth string, go to the second fret, put that second finger right below, okay? And I will do some close-ups after I show you this C chord. What we're gonna do is we have a pivot point here, all right? So our second finger is going to stay put. The only thing we're gonna do is maybe slide it back a little in the fret, okay? So we're gonna lift up our finger and slide this finger back a little bit to give us space so we don't have to stretch so much. And this first finger is now gonna come down to the second string, first fret, okay? So this is our C chord. And we're gonna try as best as possible to just hit the bottom four strings. So now, to get back to E minor, we lift up the first finger, just slide this second finger forward a little bit, and put the first finger right back on top on the second fret of the fifth string. Okay, let's do that again. We're gonna lift up our first finger, slide the second finger back a little bit, First finger comes down, second string, first fret. And that's your C chord. One more time, okay? First finger up to the fifth string, second fret. We have E minor. And then first finger back down to the second string on the first fret. We have a C chord, all right? So I'm gonna go in for close up just so that you guys can see my fingers moving on this. 
If you guys have liked what I've showed you so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I really specialize in lessons for beginners so that you can see when I release new content, songs, and tips. Let's get back into the lesson. All right, here we are for a close up. This is my guitar neck. This is the headstock of the guitar, and we have frets one, two, and three. So we're going to find that E minor first, fifth string, okay, second fret, and then the second finger is going to go right below on the fourth string, okay? And if you play all six strings, that is an E minor chord. Now, to get to that C chord, we're going to lift up the first finger, we're going to slide the second finger towards the headstock a little bit. And the first finger is going to come down to the B string here, the second string at the first fret. So we have C. Now to get back to E minor, we're going to just move that first finger back up to the fifth string. And then one more time, move the first finger to C. Let's just do it one more time for good measure here, okay? So E minor, first finger comes up to the fifth string, just like that. Lift up the first finger, slide the second towards the headstock. First finger comes down right here, second string, first fret. So we have C and E minor. C and E minor. One quick note here, if you know the E minor and the C chords, you can now play a really cool song called Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles, which uses just the E minor and the C chords. I'll put a link in the description below so that you guys can go check that out. Now that you're familiar with the C and E minor chord, the next chord we're going to add into the mix is going to be our G chord. And you guessed it, we're going to be starting at the E minor chord again. So hopefully by now you know where that chord is, but just in case, one more time, we're gonna take the first finger, fifth string, second fret, second finger right below. Now the G chord, we also have a pivot point on this chord, and again, G is usually a three-fingered chord. These are simplified versions to help get your finger started and build confidence that you can actually do this, okay? Because again, like I said, I've had lots of people do those three-fingered guitar chords and give up in frustration because it was just too much for them at the stage they were at, all right? So what we're gonna do, this first finger now becomes our pivot point, all right? And we're gonna slide it forward, all right, towards the body of the guitar, and our second finger is gonna reach up to the top string third fret and we're gonna strum the whole thing. It's really a, what we call a G6 chord, but we're just gonna call it a simple G chord to keep things simple. All right, and you would strum all the strings. Now to get back to E minor, lift up the second finger, slide the first finger back in the fret, and put your second finger right back on that fourth string, second fret. Let's go back to the G chord, lift up the second finger, slide the first finger forward, Second finger comes up to the third fret on the top string, and we strum. All right, one more time. Lift up the second finger, slide the first finger, second finger to the fourth string, E minor. Lift up the second finger now, back to G. Slide the first finger forward, top string, third fret. We have a G chord, and I will go in for a close-up. All right, here I am on my close-up again. And we're gonna find that E minor chord, all right? First and second fingers in the second frets on the fifth and the fourth string. We have E minor. Now to get to that G chord, we're gonna lift up the second finger, slide the first finger towards the body of the guitar. Second finger comes down on that top string, third fret. We have G. To get back, we're gonna slide the first finger and then the second finger just comes right underneath. Okay, lift, slide the first finger forward, second finger comes down. Let's do it one more time. Back to E minor, slide the first finger back, second finger down. Back to G, lift up the second finger, slide the first forward, second finger on the third fret of the top string, and we have G. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it helps people like you see my videos more often. Thanks so much, let's keep going. So there you go, you have your first three chords and usually at this stage what I would do with my students is I would just have them practice going from a G chord to an E minor chord to a C chord 
back to E minor. So it would be G, E minor, C, E minor, G, E minor, C, E minor, so forth and so on. But I told you I was gonna teach you four chords in this lesson. So we have one more chord that we're going to learn. And this is the chord that I simplified even more from my last video so that we now have a two fingered D chord. Let's go check that out. So a lot of students tend to have trouble playing a D chord. They'll play it and it kind of sounds like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're basically gonna play like a D suspended chord, okay? I think it's a D sus four. And it's going to sound like this. It's a very open sounding chord. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a pivot point to get into this D chord. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start still at E minor, because that's been our home base, and you guys are kind of really familiar with that chord by now. So we're gonna start with the E minor. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift up the second finger and then move the first finger down two strings this time. All right, two strings. So you'll be on the third string, second fret. And now we're going to use our third finger. And the third finger is going to play the um, third fret of the second string. All right, and you try, really want to try and bend this third knuckle, um, this knuckle on the third finger, so that you don't mute that bottom string. All right. And you're gonna play the bottom four strings, and it's a very nice open sounding chord. It's a very beautiful chord. All right, so now we're gonna get back to E minor. We're gonna lift up our third finger, move the first finger up two strings, second finger comes down. All right, to get back to that D chord, lift up your second finger, first finger down one, two strings, still in the second fret. Third finger goes to the second string, third fret. And we have a D. Okay, one more time, let's go back to E minor, lift up that third finger, move the first finger up two strings, put the second finger down, have E minor, lift up the second finger, okay, move the first finger down, two strings, and then we have the third finger coming right into place on the third fret of the second string, and we now have our D chord. So let's go in for another close up so that I can show you guys how my fingers are moving. Okay, here we are in a close up here. So we've got our E minor chord, okay? Again, you should know that one by now. Lift up the second finger, move it down two strings. Third finger comes to the third fret of the second string. And you can see how bent my knuckle is here. Don't have it lie flat or angled like this, or you're gonna mute that bottom string. Okay, let's go back to our E minor. Lift the second finger down two strings third finger on the second string. Let's do it one more time. Lift up that third finger. Lift the first finger. There we go. E minor is back in place. Lift up the second finger. Move the first finger down two strings. Third finger comes into play. And we have our D chord. Now to start using these chords in songs, ideally what I would have students do is, like I said, practice switching between the chords. So go from E minor to D. G to D, C to D, C to G, okay? So you're gonna wanna try all these different combinations because that's what happens in songs. It's just different variations of these chords. So just a quick example of a song for me to play for you would be something like Brown Eyed Girl. So we, it would be G to C, G to D. Hey, where did we go? Hear it? days when the rain came. So all I'm doing is just some simple strumming and it's going G, C, G, D. So that's an example of a song that uses these chords. Like I said, I'll put um, a link to my website so you can go see some of the other chords. So I told you I was gonna give you an extra little bonus secret in this video that I didn't give you in the last video. And that was how do we play even more songs with just these four chords? And I'm gonna show you that using a capo. So this is my trusty Kaiser capo. And all it is is a clamp. If you don't have one of these and you're a beginner, I'd recommend getting one because like I said, you can play a lot more um, songs with just these chords. 
So usually chords are grouped together in what we call keys, and they're basically just families of chords that sound good together. That's why I taught you G, C, D, and E minor, because there's a lot of songs that just use those four chords. Well, another great key to learn would be the key of A, which usually has the A chord, a D chord, an E chord, and an F sharp minor. Don't worry about that. We're not going into music theory here. I'm just going to show you how to apply this, okay? So songs that, you know, use the key of A would be something like Leaving on a Jet Plane, um, Folsom Prison Blues, Walk the Line. There's lots of songs that use the key of A. But what happens if you don't know those chords or you're a beginner and you just know these chords? Well, I'm going to show you a little trick. So this capo can be clamped at the second fret of your guitar. And all you do is you just put the big end, the big end clamped over the strings, and we call this capoing at the second fret. The capo is at the second fret. So now we have our G chord, we have our D chord, we have our C chord, and we have our E minor chord. And you hear that they sound very different than they did before because of our capo. So now if you see a song that has the chords A, D, E, and F sharp minor, you know, a song like uh, Stand By Me by Benny King, that would be a good example. When you see an A chord, you would play your G chord. When you see F sharp minor, you would play E minor. Okay, so A chord is G, F sharp minor is E minor. Now, for the D chord, whenever you see a D chord, all you have to do is play your C chord. And when you see an E chord, you play your D suspended chord. All right, so let's take an example of a song like Stand By Me. So just to show you quickly with the song like Stand By Me, which is in the key of A, we're gonna put it with these chords. All right, so instead of A, I'm gonna play G. Well, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me. So there's a quick example. So now I've even opened up even more and more songs to you with just four simple chords. If you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed my teaching style, I do have a full course that is a seven level, step-by-step -step beginner guitar system, how to get you going and having more fun on the guitar, playing the songs you love. We'll go over chords and strumming. Um, so if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link below the video. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe on this video. It really helps me out. And YouTube's gonna pop up a couple more videos over here. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you guys in another lesson video.